Okay, let's start. Uh, yeah. Okay, we're going to do listening. Oh, it's the taste, sorry. I'm going to the unit. Unit three, let's go to unit four, listening. Okay, there we go, unit four listening. Number two. Listen to the woman. Mr. Wright is a historical fiction writer. To write historical fiction, he needs to read many books and visit as many museums as he can. He needs many resources to bring authenticity to his work. Fiction writer. To write. Number two. Number two. Listen to the woman. Mr. Wright is a historical fiction writer. To write historical fiction, he needs to read many books and visit as many museums as he can. He needs many resources to bring authenticity to his work. Which picture best describes Mr. Wright's job? Okay, Beltran. Number three. Which describes the teacher's job? Oh, A. A, good job. Listen to number three. Listen to the boy. Hi, Michelle. I would like to go see the musical Romeo and Juliet tonight. I have two tickets for the performance at eight. We can see a famous actor and actress stage in front of us. What will the actor and actress do at eight tonight? Okay, what will they do at eight tonight? Um. See. Listen carefully. See a famous actor and Neo and Juliet tonight. Listen to the boy. Hi, Michelle. I would like to go see the musical Romeo and Juliet tonight. I have two tickets for the performance at eight. We can see a famous actor and actress performing on the stage in front of us. What will the actor and actress do at eight tonight? What will not the what will it's not what, what the boy and Michelle is going to do tonight. It's what the actor and the actress are going to do tonight. The actress and the actor are going to perform on stage tonight. It's not what the question is not what Michelle and the boy is doing. The question is what will the actor and the actress do tonight? It's A. It's A. It's what are the actresses doing tonight? An actress is somebody performing on a stage. Now, when it's a man, we say it's an actor. When it's a woman or a girl, we say it's an actress. And these are people who act on a stage or they perform a play. Okay, do you understand? The question was, what is the actor and the actress doing tonight? Not Michelle and the boy. So you must listen very carefully what the question is asking of you. Okay, listen to a conversation between a boy and a girl. Part two. Listen and answer the questions. Number one, listen to the conversation between a boy and a girl. 
Hi, Sarah. Where are you going? Hi, Mark. I am going to the library to do some research for my history assignment. What's the assignment about? I have to write about a famous person from the past. That doesn't sound very easy. Yeah, I have to read many books and articles about the person's life. What does the girl have to do for her assignment? A. She has to find out about a person's life. B. She has to ask someone to do a job for her. C. She has to make a poster about somebody. Okay, Kim, what does the girl have to do for her assignment? Just A. She has to find out about somebody's life. Good. Yes. Okay. Bao Tram, you need to concentrate, okay? Yeah. Number two. Listen to the conversation between a teacher and a student. We are going to talk about Mother Teresa today. Can anyone tell me who Mother Teresa was? She dedicated her life to the poor. Very good. She was born in Macedonia and became a nun in Ireland. Then she moved to Calcutta in India to help the poor. Can you specify how she sacrificed her life for the poor? She taught students in schools and founded an organization called the Missionaries of Charity to help orphans, single moms, and people dealing with diseases. What did Mother Teresa do in India? A. She renamed a school. B. She taught people how to farm. C. She taught students in schools. Okay, Beltran, what did Mother Teresa do in India? C. She taught students in schools. Good job. Listen to the phone message. Part three. Listen and answer the question. Number one. Listen to the phone message. Hi, Julie. This is Maria. I am taking French History 101 this semester and my new assignment is to do research on Joan of Arc. I am very new at French history, and I don't know how to start my research. I know you took the same course last semester. Do you have some time this weekend to meet me at the library and give me some tips? Why did Maria call Julie? A, to tell Julie to return a book to the library. B, to ask Julie for help on a new assignment. C. To tell Julie to retake a course. Now, Tram, why did Maria call Julie? C. To tell Julie to retake a course. Listen carefully, Beltram. Is to do research on Jonah. Part three. Listen and answer the question. Number one. Listen to the phone message. Hi, Julie. This is Maria. I am taking French History 101 this semester, and my new assignment is to do research on Joan of Arc. I am very new at French history, and I don't know how to start my research. I know you took the same course last semester. Do you have some time this weekend to meet me at the library and give me some tips? Why did Maria call Julie? A. To tell Julie to return a book to the library. B. To ask Julie for help on a new assignment. C. To tell Julie to retake a course. Okay, uh, Bautram, what's your answer? B. Um, yes, it's to tell, to ask her for tips on her new assignment on taking uh, the history. Number two. Listen to the phone message. Hi, Chris. 
This is Brian. There is a special Picasso exhibition at the National Gallery. I was wondering whether you were interested or not. Since it is a rare opportunity to see Picasso's real artwork in our city, the tickets will sell quite quickly. I am going to buy tickets online for me, James, and Michelle tonight. We are planning to go this Saturday. Please call me back by 8 this evening if you want to join us. What is Brian going to do tonight? A. Go to see an exhibition. B. Buy tickets online. C. Purchase Picasso's painting. Kim? My name's Ellie. Mm, let's listen again. Bye. Join us online for me, Picasso Gallery. Hi, Chris. This is Brian. There is a special Picasso exhibition at the National Gallery. I was whether you were interested or not. Since it is a rare opportunity to see Picasso's real artwork in our city, the tickets will sell quite quickly. I am going to buy tickets online for me, James, and Michelle tonight. I'm going to buy tickets for me, James, and Michelle tonight. We are planning to go this Saturday. Please call me back by 8 this evening if you want to join us. What is Brian going to do tonight? Kim? Yes, he's going to buy tickets online tonight. Listen to the story about Columbus and an egg. Tram, I can't see you. I don't know what you are doing. You need to listen because I can ask you anytime, okay? And if you get it wrong, yeah. you need to get it right, actually, the first time. So then I know you understand it. Hey. Part four. Listen and answer the questions. Listen to the story about Columbus and an egg. After the great achievement of discovering new lands on his voyage, Columbus became a hero. Everyone wanted to talk to him and showed respect to him. Even the king and queen invited him to the palace and enjoyed hearing about his voyage over the sea. One night, Columbus was invited to a dinner party and he heard a man say, even if Columbus had not discovered the new land, anyone could have done it by just sailing to the West. Columbus was upset, but he didn't want people to know it. Instead, he picked up an egg and asked, can anyone make this egg stand upright on the table? Several people tried standing the egg up on the table, but it was impossible. Then Columbus cracked the end of the egg to make the bottom flat and put it on the table. Anyone could do that by breaking the bottom of the egg, one of the men said. Then Columbus said with a smile, of course, anyone can do anything after discovering what the first person has done. However, it takes courage to overcome the fear to achieve something that has not been done before. After the people listened to Columbus, they all nodded and applauded. Number one, what is Columbus's great achievement? A, the discovery of new lands on his voyage. B, the discovery of eggs. C, the discovery of reading people's minds. Okay, Beltran, number one, what is Columbus's great achievement? Is A. Good. Kim? Why did people nod and applaud after Columbus's speech? Applaud means clapping hands. So they agree. Why did they nod and clap hands? They understood the, great, the greatness of his speech and they agreed to it. That's why they nodded. Number two, why did people nod and applaud after Columbus's speech? A, they hated his speech. 
Listen and answer the question. Listen to the teacher giving a lesson about how to do research at the library. We have talked about many historical figures. Your assignment is to choose the famous person who inspires you the most and write a paper about the person. We are going to the library after lunch today so we can all start the assignment. Think about the person you want to write about during lunchtime. And when you are at the library, start searching for facts about the person's life. You may also look through encyclopedias, newspaper articles, magazines, or books. One way to save time on your research is to search through the online databases. That way, you don't have to walk into every section of the library to find information. Your assignment should be 500 words long, and it must have a reference page. Your outline is due this Friday, and your paper is due next Monday. As we have already discussed, you are not supposed to make up anything that is not true when you write about someone's real life. Three. Where is the class going to go after the lunch break? A. To the music room. B. To the library. C. To the cafeteria. Okay, where are they going to go? B. To the library. Good. Now, Tram, you need to listen. When is the outline due? A, next Friday. B, next Monday. C, this Friday. Yes, B. Next Monday. Kim, what do you think? Uh, hey, next Friday. Number three. Where is the class going to go after the lunch break? Then Columbus cracked the end of the egg to make the bottom flat and put it on the table. Columbus said with a smoke four. After the people listen to Columbus, number one, what is Columbus? C. People nod and applaud. The king and queen listen to the teacher giving a lesson about how to do research at the library. We have talked about many historical figures. Your assignment is to choose the famous person who inspires you the most and write a paper about the person. We are going to the library after lunch today so we can all start the assignment. Think about the person you want to write about during lunchtime, and when you are at the library, start searching for facts about the person's life. You may also look through encyclopedias, newspaper articles, magazines, or books. One way to save time on your research is to search through the online databases. That way, you don't have to walk into every section of the library to find information. Your assignment should be 500 words long, and it must have a reference page. Your outline is due this Friday, and your paper is due next Monday. The outline is due? You see. Yes, the outline is due this Friday. Okay, Bautram, what does the teacher suggest to the students about writing about someone's real life? As we have already discussed, you are not supposed to make up anything that is not true when you write about someone's real life. Kim, can, three. where is the class Kim, going to can go? Can you help her? Number four. When is the outline due? 
next Friday. What did the teacher say? Going to go after the lunch break. It's not true. Where is due next Monday? Listen. As we have already discussed, you are not supposed to make up anything that is not true. You're not supposed to make up things that's not true. So you can make things up? No. You're not supposed to make things up that's not true. So it's definitely not number A. About tram, which number? B. Yes, the stories must be true. You can't make up things about someone's life. It must be true when you write about someone's life. Okay. Now let's stop here and we'll go to a converse. We will go to um, here. Let's go to um, we'll go to flyers two. Let's go to flyers two. And we're going to ask and answer questions. Okay, flyers two. I'm opening. And then we have to go to test two. We did test one the other day. Okay, let's do test two. Let's go down. Here's test two. Okay, now we're going to talk about Peter and Anne. There we go, Peter and Anne. Now we're going to ask and answer questions here. Okay, uh, now remember the first thing we'll do is this Anne's answers and here is Anne's questions. Okay, so first we're going to do the answers and the questions about Anne and then we will do about Peter. Okay. Right, let's start with the questions. Kim, you can ask the first question. Um, how old is Anne? Yes. Beltran, how old? Is Anne? He is uh, tw twenty eight years old. Anne is twenty eight years old. Next question, Beltram. You can ask a question now. Um, what what job does Anne do? What job does Anne do? Kim, you can answer. Anne to artist. Anne is an artist. Can you say that again? Anne is a... Anne is a artist. An artist, not a artist, an artist. Okay. Uh, Kim, next question. Mm. An is the Uh, um, is and married is a uh, 
Mary, Bao Tran. No, she isn't. No, Anne isn't married. No, Anne is not married, or Anne isn't married, or Anne, or no, she isn't married. Uh, Bao Tran, next question. Mm. Mm. Is she e a han have car? Does Anne have a car? Can you ask that again, Bao Tran? Does Anne have a car? Kim? No, she doesn't. No. Anne has a Anne has a bicycle. Yes, no, Anne has a bicycle. Okay, Kim, next Anne, question. Uh, Anne is Anne tall or short? Tall or short. Kim, uh, sorry about Tram. Anne is short. Anne is short. Good. Okay. Now you can ask and answer any question. Beltram, you can start. You can ask any question to Kim. Is Anne married? Um, no, Anne isn't married. Okay. Now Kim must ask a question. No, Anne isn't married. No, Kim, you must ask a question. Uh, is Anne tall or short? Anne is short. How old is Anne? Anne is 28 years old. What job does Anne do? And is an artist. Is Anne married? No, Anne isn't married. Do Anne have a car? Not da. Does. Does. Does Anne have a car? No, Anne has a bicycle. Okay, it stopped there. Now we're going to change around. Now we are going to look at Peter. There's Peter's information or questions and his information here. Okay, now Bautram, you can start with the first question. How old is Peter? Um, Peter is 33 years old. Peter is 33, okay. Kim can ask a question. Um, what do Peter do? Ask again. What job do Peter do? Peter is a farmer. Beltran, question. Um, did he be to marry? Ask again. Um, is is Peter Mary? Kim? Yes. Yes. Is yes, Peter is Mary. Kim can ask a question. Um the Peter Not the. does. 
Does Peter have a car? Does Peter have a car, Beltran? Yes, Peter has two cars. Peter has two cars. Car. Peter has two cars. Beltran question? Is Peter tall or short? Peter is tall. Okay, now you can ask and answer any questions. Now Tram can start. Hmm. How old is Peter? Peter is 33 years old. Good, next question. Kim, you can ask a question. Um, is Peter tall or soft? Peter is tall. Okay, Beltran, ask a question. What job does Peter do? Peter is a farmer. John Peter have a car? Yes, Peter has two car. No, is no, no, no. Yes, Peter has. Yes, Peter has two cars. Yes, there we go. Peter has two cars. Is Peter married? Yes, Peter is married. Okay, one more bell. Bell trend, one more. Is Peter tall or short? Peter is tall. Okay, good. Now I'm going to take it away and we're going to ask and answer without. Okay, now let's have a look like this. Okay, let's uh... Oh, sorry, here's, here we go, hang on. So this will be Kim's board and this will be Beltram's board, okay? So this is Beltram and this is Kim. Now only look at your own, only look at your own uh, page. Don't look at your friend's page, otherwise you're gonna get confused. Now you can ask any question on your page. So Beltram must ask questions about Peter and Kim must ask questions about Anne. Beltram will answer questions about Anne and Kim will answer questions about Kim. Okay, Kim, you can start. How old is Anne? Anne is I'm 28 years old. What job do Anne do? Anne is uh, an artist. Is Anne married? No, see, he isn't married. About Tram, you can ask a question. Um, how old is Peter?
Pam, you need to answer her. Uh, Peter is 33 years old. Now, Tram, you can ask another one. Um, is, is Peter married? Yes, Peter is married. Pam, you can ask a question. Yes, Peter is married. Pam, you can ask a question. Mm. Um, do I have a car? Does? No. Not the. Does? Does? Does I have a car? No, and has a bicycle. Now, Tram, you can ask. Um, what job does Peter do? Uh, Peter is a father. 